What's wrong? Okay, I'll help you. I'll help you. Hi guys, welcome back. So I am just gonna go through like kind of a tiny nighttime routine. I just got home from running to Walmart and the Dollar Tree and got a bunch of stuff. I got new drapes actually, so I'm gonna show you guys those. I'm gonna hang them up in the bedroom. Um, we're gonna do that. I'll show you a couple things that I got at Dollar Tree that are like my ride or die things. But right now the cat, because I'm an hour behind, it's six. Lady just ate finally and you hear my friend in the background. He's sad and wants me to clean up his uh, cat food and his cat box. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna start cleaning and cooking and doing my nightly routine. So this is just a nightly routine of ours. I do dishes every night. I load the dishwasher usually when I get home from work and then I hand wash any of the dishes that um, we use during the day that I don't want to put into the dishwasher, obviously. And then every night I do go ahead and set the coffee pot on delay to go ahead and start at 5 a.m. so I don't have to do that in the morning because I dump coffee everywhere in the morning because I'm not awake yet. Love the Dunkin Donuts caramel coffee if you guys are looking for a new coffee I highly recommend it it's amazing okay so I have to show you this so the cat long story but he has to use these like little pellets now just for a while until his foot heals but my friend is not even using that. He's just using the puppy pad, which whatever, I don't care. But I got him a night light <laughs> for nighttime so he can actually see in here. And it actually does help at night because I have a little lamp in here. I know you can't really tell here, but I can actually see when I walk in here now at nighttime. So hopefully he'll be able to see a little bit better. Oh, and I got a new steamer. This thing's bomb. I'm going to use it tonight. So I'll show you guys that. I love steamer. I know people say they don't want that kind of stuff for Christmas, but I do because my floor is filthy. Okay, so I did get another um, nightlight to try in there. This one actually is pretty good, but it's more of a yellow light, so I just decided not to use that one. It's a Dollar Tree. It's a dollar, whatever. I also got some of these nails. I actually use their nails a lot just because I only wear them for a couple days and I can take them off. They had a new pair of athletic socks there that I decided to grab and try. I actually, I've got a ton of their athletic socks and I love them. They stay on, they're thick, they feel good like right here in the middle where it's a little bit tighter. I like that. I actually went just for parchment paper. Um, if you guys are looking for parchment paper, I would definitely buy it from the Dollar Tree because it's a dollar and not like eight dollars everywhere else. And then I went and got some trash bags. Like I said, these are my ride or die trash bags. I actually love them. And then I got the dishwashing tabs. Again, these are one of my Ride or Die products. I use them all the time. Uh, I went ahead and grabbed an extra tube of toothpaste also while I was there. And Lady got two new toys because she absolutely loves these. And I was looking for them for probably two months because hers are in shreds. So I went ahead and got two. She's got one right now that she's playing with while I'm doing what I need to do. But... Yeah, she absolutely loves these toys. What do you want for dinner? I have these four things. And then I've got a salmon recipe that didn't come with it. The When the box got delivered, I only got four of the recipes. These two are from the last box, so I would rather use these two yeah. if we can. Sure. Or if they just don't sound good, it's fine. We'll just, I can figure it out. That one's like all vegetarian. And the other one's chicken. I can do either. Okay. So I know we just had chicken last night. Okay. If it's an uh, issue with you. We'll go ahead and eat the vegetarian one because I'm afraid the vegetables are going to go bad. Okay. Yeah. Because like even the soup I made yesterday, it was, um, the carrots were soft. 
Okay. Because I waited. The soup was really good. I had one of them for lunch today. Oh, was it? Yeah, it was really good. Good. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Cool. What's up, Kiki? What happened? Yeah, he's with me. <laughs> he's definitely with me. So the easiest thing for dinners, honestly, for us has been HelloFresh, and I swear by HelloFresh. I've done other meal delivery services, but I've gone back to HelloFresh twice now, and I don't foresee me going away anytime soon now. I really wanted to get on the train of like, I'm gonna cook you meals every day and I'm gonna do everything from scratch. I got too overwhelmed. So we went back to HelloFresh. So now we're doing five meals a week right now, but I'm gonna take it down to four because we can't get through them all by the time, with just like our schedules. I can't get five of those meals cooked in the seven days before the next box comes. We still have two meals from last week. This new box got delivered Saturday. Today is Tuesday and I still had two from the week before. And I made one of them last night for lunch for me today and it'll be lunch tomorrow. So I made this like soup, it was really good. Um, but I just don't wanna waste the food either if I can't get through it. So anyway, tonight we're gonna do apricot, almond, and chickpea tagine, I think is how you say it, with zucchini, rice, and something else, I don't know. But we'll see what's going on with this. But it looks pretty good, I think it's all vegetarian. So it looks pretty good. I'll show you guys kinda of how I make it. There, HelloFresh does a really good job um, of explaining like the recipe and the directions and everything. And I also, I honestly think, especially for the two of us, it's cost effective. Way more than me spending my time looking through recipes, looking through cookbooks, looking through Pinterest, looking through all these things for me to make these magical meals and then like be super stressed out about it. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight. <laughs> and it makes it so much easier. I can just hand Justin the cards and say, here, what do you want for dinner? And he picks it out. So, lovely. I don't even have to have a conversation about dinner. My nose is so itchy. What? You are definitely gonna be hearing the cat in the background of this one because he has a lot to say to me. Because we changed his food, changed his cat litter. He's not real happy with me right now. So, I wanna show you guys the margarita that I've been making um, here and there. So, I am using my Taste Your Way Around the World um, cup from Disney that I got in 2016 actually from the Food and Wine Festival and I absolutely love these cups. I don't bring them out very often but I wanted a Disney cup tonight and this is what I use. I use Silver Patron because it, I'm good with that. And then I use just a lime sparkling water and then some cranberry juice. So we'll just put the Patron in first. I never can get some bottle open. I don't really measure anything because why? You only live once. And then I stick in some cranberry juice. Part of this was because I need to use up this cranberry juice. So then I just threw on some sparkling water. And that's my little margarita for tonight. So at this point I've gotten dishes done. I've gotten the stuff that I bought put away most of it and I need to clean this floor real quick before I go to the back and start stuff on the back. Um, but yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna change my clothes, show you guys what I bought, and then we'll change the drapes back there and steam them. And then I'm gonna cook dinner and then I'm gonna read my book because that's my new, like I'm going to make sure that I read every night for at least either an hour or a chapter. So last night I read two chapters and we're doing good, so that's that. Now the next thing I gotta get in there is like my Pilates again. I'm trying to get that work back into my schedule, so hopefully by tomorrow I can get that work back in. I just had a couple extra things to do today, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So Justin bought me this new steamer for this floor and it has been amazing. I don't know if you guys have watched any of my other cleaning videos, but I've complained about how horrible this floor is to clean because it's like a marble floor. So what you do is you just stick one of these cleaning pads on. This is the Bissell Power Fresh Deluxe. And I'll link it down below. We got it on Amazon. I think it was like 80, 80 or $89, I don't remember. I'll have to look. But that's what I got. So you just put the little pad on there. It came with two pads. It came with a scent stick. So down in here, there's a little scent stick that you can buy these little things. Um, just stick them in there. This one I think is like lavender or something like that. But you put the water in here, just goes in here. It comes with a little cup that you can put water in. Um, that measures it out for you. So what we'll do, 
We're gonna plug it in and let it heat up real quick. And for this floor, because it's so shiny, I have to keep it on the lowest steam setting and not let the floor get too hot or um, too wet because it'll just streak my floor and that's the biggest issue that I have with this floor is streaking. So keep it on the low setting and just cleaning it and not over clean the floor with it. It works perfect. So all you do is plug it in and then we'll let it heat up. So this little light down here. We're gonna press on up here. Oh no, wait, it's gotta turn. It's gotta not blink. Now what you do is press that and then we're gonna press that button and we are going to get clean. We never lasted with your hand on my knee. Every single feeling comes back to me. Your lips pressed against mine after a night. We got drunk and ended up at your place. That kind of love is not easy to find, babe. I haven't felt that since you went home. dry you see how it's just like a little bit wet down here still it will dry super fast actually it dry, does dry pretty fast when I was looking at it over there it is all dry so like I said I this is the easiest other than me getting down on my hands and knees to clean this floor and I, I just can't do it anymore it no nope no 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 so once it dries I will stick the rugs back over here but I'm just gonna give it a few minutes to dry all the way but like I said I have to do this thing I just wash this thing in the um wash machine with a little bit of bleach just to bleach it out but yep I love it I'll link it down below if you like so it so I was gonna show you guys a couple things that I did get at Walmart um so I am a Walmart shopper I love their clothes for certain things these are my absolute favorite work pants so like I when I work I wear like work clothes um <laughs> when I'm not at home so these pants are super stretchy. They're kind of ankle length, like just right above ankle length. Um, there's a little slit down at the bottom. They're like $14.94. These, I wanted to get another pair because my other ones are too big. So I went ahead and got a smaller pair. Um, these are the Millennium Skinny Pant. These are high rise stretch. They do not shrink. They do not stretch out. They don't Nothing changed on my other ones. It's just that that's why I had to get new ones because the other ones won't shrink. I've tried. I've tried putting them in the dryer. They will not shrink. Just one of my pairs, the zipper is now like not wanting to zip up for some reason, even though there's nothing wrong with the zipper. But so I bought these. These are the Time and True Millennium Skinny Pant. I will link them down below if I can find them. But these are my absolute favorite like work pants. They are flattering and they don't like show anything I guess I'm really weird about that the other thing this is the reason actually that I went to Walmart and got everything else I needed another pair of like nighttime pants because I walk the dog at night and I just want to be able to make sure that I've got and it's cold out right now so they had a pair of black shocking see I was looking for another pair another color other than black but that's all they had they didn't have very many options at mine um, these are the <clears throat> secret treasures sleepwear essentials I got mine in a size small. They're $9.97. They hit a bunch with like a ton of prints on them. More wintry prints on sale for like $7. I just, I'm not a printy person, so I didn't um, get them. But I love these. I will tell you, they don't hold up real well. So I bought my gray pair that I've got last year. And it's like already thinned out in the rear. That's why I wanted to get a new pair. Because I'm like, oh god, what if somebody comes over and I have those pants on? So these feel different than those do. So hopefully these will wear a little bit differently than those gray ones, but they're $9, it's not a big deal. But I really like these pants. They're mix and match um, sets that you can get with different tops, but my Walmart was so like empty in the pajamas section and our Walmart's going through a renovation. So everything's just like everywhere right now. But those are the two clothing items that I got at Walmart today. Now, the other thing I got, was drapes. As you can tell, over here I have no drapes. Where do my drapes go, you ask? The front bedroom. So right before Christmas time, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put the white comforter that I had in here last year. It's like a Sherpa on one side and it's like fluffy on the other side. 
I went ahead and stuck that in the front bedroom and then put our white like cream drapes that were in here and there. I haven't had drapes in here in a couple months, probably since it's been well before Thanksgiving that I had drapes in here. So anyway, I went ahead and I went ahead and got drapes. I love Walmart drapes also. I think that's all I've got in the house actually right now is Walmart drapes. Um, they're a great price. They last, they hold up. Um, the only thing with these that I'm not really like happy about is the pocket panel, like the pocket portion of like the, um, how it hangs basically. It doesn't have the grommets on it. So I usually only buy drapes with the grommets, but I saw these and I absolutely love this pattern. I have this pattern everywhere in the house, but I like the textured portion of the drapes. So hopefully these are gonna look great. They're light gray. So that's gonna let me, it's gonna match the taupey colored walls. It's gonna match the gray couch well over here. I am gonna get the blue stuff out of here. I just put that in here for the winter. Um, I'm probably gonna put the gray comforter back in here probably this weekend once I wash um, this comforter and just kind of change stuff around. But I'm gonna hang these up and it looks like they might need to be steamed. I have the steamer on over here just in case, but I don't know. We'll see what happens if they bug me enough that I have to steam them. But I'm gonna hang them up. So what I do with mine, on this one I hang two and then on these two I hang one. So that's why I only have four panels, but that's just how I hang mine. So then when I open the two in the corner, it's not like too much in the corner, but. Oh, what if I never let you go? about eight o'clock right now and I need to still edit today's video which might not be in tomorrow's video I don't know we'll figure out what happens but I still have to edit that and edit this one and then make dinner and take the dog out again and wash my face and brush my teeth and those kind of things so we'll see what I get done but I am going to see those tomorrow so stay tuned for the next video so now on to dinner time. We usually do eat pretty late just because we, of our schedules and everything, but I'm just grabbing out a few things like butter and salt and pepper and oil that you need usually when you make HelloFresh meals. And I'm gonna start chopping my vegetables and I do go ahead and I use my rice cooker whenever I cook rice. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick all that stuff in the rice cooker and just let it cook. It just takes a couple minutes for it to cook in there. And then I am going to start putting the stuff and sauteing the zucchini and the onion and garlic together on the stove. And then you add the chickpeas to that and let it simmer for a little bit. And then you just put them together and it's that easy. rice in my rice cooker and it wanted me to cook the onions then cook the rice in the vegetable stock together I just cooked the rice by itself and then just put the vegetable stock in with the rice once it was done cooking so it looks fine so the next thing I've got is the top of it a zucchini onion garlic and sauce that they had you make we take your phone and Still playing. We got it for 
New Year's Eve night, and it didn't go well because none of us know how to read directions. I had to actually go to YouTube to figure out how to play it. It is called Breaking Alcatraz. It's supposed to be like an escape room. It is very confusing. We are only on step, I think, two, mm -hmm. and we're still trying to figure it out, but it comes with these cards and these sticks, and you have to break open this thing. Probably hour and a half in or something? Yep. It says it's a two-hour game, but we're, we're clearly, we're deep into it, so we'll see how far we can get tonight. We're just not going to sit here and play it for hours because we have other things to do, but I figured we'll do it while we eat. We seriously did not get past one more step playing this game. It is so hard, but it's fun because it gives us time together. And I had told him a few days ago that we needed to be more cognizant of spending more time together just because of COVID and not being able to go everywhere and like have date nights and that kind of stuff. So we're probably going to do a little bit more of this kind of stuff together, even if it's just for like 30 minutes at dinner time, just so we're kind of interacting more together than we have been. So I really highly recommend this game. It's just super hard. Also, let me know what you guys think about this new video. So I am, like I said, gonna try to be more consistent with my videotaping, but I also am just trying to figure out what is a good mix for me to be able to share content because I really enjoy sharing things with you guys. So let me know what you guys think about the video. If you do like the video, I would love for you to hit that like button down below. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I am Katie and this is our Missouri life. Now that we're at the end of the video, I apologize. Um, but if you're new, I'd love for you to subscribe. Join the, the fam that is Katie. But like I said, I am going to be more consistent with my taping and I am going to have out more content and sharing different things with you guys. But yep, like I said, hit that notification bell down below to be reminded every time I do upload a new video. About nine o'clock, it's a little after nine o'clock. I am going to go wash my face and brush my teeth and put the rest away, everything else, and take my medicine because I remembered and let the dog out one more time and go read my book. I'm reading You're a Badass. It's a good book. If you guys are looking for a little bit of motivation for the beginning of the year, um, I highly recommend that one. That one's a good one. She's kind of sassy, but I really like it. Um, but the kitchen's all cleaned up. Everything's all good. Our game is just sitting on the table because obviously we are not done with that. We can't even get to step three figured out. It doesn't make any sense. So we're probably gonna have to get out a piece of paper and like some colored pens tomorrow so that we can figure out what it's asking. Like this game is really weird. Like it's weird and it doesn't make sense. And I feel like I'm smart, but this game is really making me feel dumb. Thank you guys so much for watching today. We really appreciate it. Um, I am going to be posting content finally. And I will be consistent with it, or I will very be a lot more consistent than I was. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.